I slept in the space under the eaves of traditional looking building in the park. The eave wasn't big enough and I got wet little when the rain got harder. The next morning wasn't bad. The sky was a little cloudy but the air was not too humid. The road condition was great. The heavy rain washed out the dust on the road clean, and the tire were gripping the surface steadily. I saw the picture of National Treasure over 10 years ago. Something incredible was on it. It was a temple built in the middle of a sheer cliff. I was amazed because it seemed impossible to build it in such bold location. The temple is called Nageiredo. It means throwing temple. The name came from the legend that the monk founded the temple by throwing it into the hole on the middle of the cliffside by using his magical power of Buddhism practice. I assume that would be something like Jedi Force. By the way, the temple was built in 706 AD. I had a chat with someone I met in the park. I told her about my plan to go to Nageiredo. And she advised me to be careful. She used to go to the mountain but not anymore. Because of rain, eroded the surface of the mountain and it is much more bold than it used to be. Despite her caution, I wasn't worried much. I was grown up in the mountain region and played there a lot. I should be used to with mountain walking. But later, I found it was a gross underestimation. The Nageiredo was at the very end of the trail which passes several temples. It gave me the impression that it might be a little harder than I was originally thinking. But I did not realize that I was still taking it too easy. There were visitors died from the accident on the trail in the past. At the gate of temple and the mountain trail, I was refused to go further on the path to Nageiredo. 
the passport's too dangerous and the visitors are required to pair up and move together. I was refused because I came there alone. I was so reluctant. I came this far for the place I have thought of over 10 years. I walked around the entrance area looking for something interesting. But I saw nothing much there and gave up. When I was going out of the gate, three men came in. I explained them the circumstance and asked if it's possible to go with them. They consented willingly. When we are about to enter the mountain, it started to rain again. We waited till the rain get lighter and set off on foot into the mountain. The trail was so steep and slippery because of the rain. There are hills and rocks almost vertical. They had a chain set on for help, but the chains were slippery in the rain. I wished I had the gloves on. Everything on the ground was slippery. Dirt, rocks, and the roots of trees. I had scary moments from the roots several times. I know I shouldn't set my feet on tree roots. But I couldn't help because the earth was eroded and the tree roots came up high from the ground. And I could not stroll over because my short legs. We had a shower several times and finally got there. I was filled with a sense of accomplishment. That was a very difficult trail, but I made it without any preparation. And thanks to those three for accepting me to join them. I couldn't have done it without their help. <laughs> 